You're a quarterback who's about to rush in and do his homework. No, what I am is a record breaker. I threw four touchdown passes in football practice. Now, how about your homework, Mr. Montana? You told me you had that big history report that you had to turn in by tomorrow? Yeah, but that was a mistake. You mean you don't have to turn it in? No, I mean, I shouldn't have told you about it. <laughs> oh, um... Hi, Dad. Hi. Well, I did it. Took a whole week of programming, but I finally did it. What did you do? Well, just a minute, and I'll show you here. <laughs> Okay, Vicky. Go to the coffee table and get the newspaper. Go to the coffee table, get the newspaper. A whole week to get the paper. I knew a poodle who learned that in one day. <laughs> There's more, wise guy. Watch what our pretty little robot can do. Okay, Vicky, scan the newspaper. and storing it in her memory bank. She'll be able to scan anything we want and recite it back. It's a breakthrough that combines robotics, data flow integration, and systolic array processing in the VICI mode. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Look, she's finished a whole paper already. Uh-huh. Okay. Vicki. What's the lead story on page one, quickly? <laughs> stop, 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 Vicky. <clears throat> Forget I said quickly. What's the lead story on page one? Congressman debate, national budget. Lead story on page two. Senators speak on taxes till midnight. Vicky, is there anything in the paper about the football game next Sunday? Yes, the pro football game will be blacked out on local TV. Oh, no. I really wanted to see that game. Yeah, me too, Jamie. I was looking forward to sitting here with our feet up, enjoying it together. Yeah, me too, Dad. Grab a couple of beers and go for the gusto. <laughs> In your case, go for the milko. <laughs> you know, I have an idea how you both could still see that game. Yeah? How? Well, if you do a good job on that book report and your father cleans out the garage, I just might spring for two tickets to go to that game. All right. What do you say, Dad? It's a deal. Shake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> 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 Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on. <laughs> Vicky. Dad couldn't have programmed you to speed read at a better time. Time. At the time, the time will be 5.22 and 12 seconds. <laughs> no, not that kind of time. I mean, it's just in time for you to speed read my history book for me for that report. Hey, if you can also write the report for me, the Big J's got it made. The Big J's got it made. Here's some of my handwriting. Can you copy it? I can copy anything I can read. Terrific. This I cannot read. <laughs> Neither can the teacher. It's my secret weapon. <laughs> anyway, please copy it. Here, Here sit down. Perfect. Now, if anybody asks if you did this report for me, you say you don't know anything about it or the Big J is in big trouble. Got it? The Big J is in big trouble. Got it? <laughs> okay, improve your mind with my history book. I promised my folks I wouldn't choose you for my homework anymore, but this time I'm only thinking of them. If I don't pass this test, they'll have a son who shaves before he gets out of grammar school. <laughs> what is grammar school? It's yeah. Why is it yeah? <laughs> because teachers take all the fun out of it. They expect you to learn things. <laughs> there. 
Hi, girls. Oh, hi. What's going on here? Oh, I had Vicky scan my recipe books. Watch. Vicky, what are the ingredients for a walnut and watercress salad? The ingredients are walnuts, watercress, apples, Swiss cheese, onion, olives, and... Why did you stop? I have to turn the page. <laughs> Huh? And I'm also teaching her how to make the salad. Well, that's great. Now, if you can teach her to vacuum, do the floors, do the dishes, and do the laundry, you'll have all that free time for yourself. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah? Well, let me give you a few ideas. Yeah, mm. not in front of Vicky. Honey, she's a robot, not a child. She's not programmed for this. Mm. Mm, but I am. <laughs> great timing. All right, Vicky, go ahead with the salad. Make it first shred the watercress. <laughs> you know, in the bowl. <laughs> Mr. Lawson? Yes? I hope I'm not disturbing you. I'm Miss Sheets, Jamie's teacher. Oh, hi. Uh, please come in. Thank you. Uh, Joan? Joanie? Can you come in here? It's Jamie's school teacher. Uh, we'll keep doing what the recipe says. The recipe says crack the walnuts. <laughs> no, 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 never mind, Vicky. <laughs> we'll just skip the walnuts. Uh, no, Jamie's at football practice. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, Joan, this is Miss Sheets, my wife, Joan. Oh, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you. Uh, well, please sit down. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I dropped by to talk to you about Jamie. Oh, well, what in particular did you want to talk about? His grades. We've he been really pushing him really hard. hard. <laughs> I'm sure we can get him to buckle down. Oh, he has. His grades have improved dramatically these past few weeks. You're yeah. kidding. <laughs> well, we're really not surprised. I was just on my way home, and I just had to stop by and, and tell you about the report Jamie turned in today. The assignment was on obscure but important events in American history. I only expected the children to read two chapters of the book. Jamie read all 55. <laughs> even found some obscure events even I didn't know, like George Washington being born on February 11th instead of the day we celebrate, February 22nd. Well, that's Jamie for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the report was so good, I'm having it copied for the other children to read. I'm also putting him up for our new honor club. Oh. Honor club? <laughs> oh, we'd love to read the report, Miss Sheets, if you'd be kind enough to send us a copy. I'll drop it off tomorrow. And I just want to congratulate the two of you for inspiring Jamie to show an ability we never knew he had. Oh, he had us fooled for a long time, too. <laughs> well, I'd better be going. Well, thank you very much hey, for coming oh, by. My pleasure. Good night. Goodbye. Oh! Honey, this is fantastic. <laughs> Our son, the brain. Yeah, he... Wait a minute. He's not that smart. <laughs> and what's more important, we're not that dumb. Vicky, <laughs> what are you doing? The recipe says toss lettuce to dry. <laughs> Vicky, let me ask you something. Do you know anything about Jamie's history report? I don't know anything about Jamie's history report. Well, see, honey, maybe we were wrong. Maybe Jamie really did apply himself and dig out those facts about George Washington being born on, oh, I don't know, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. February the 11th. <laughs> As opposed to the 22nd. Right. Right. <laughs> Hold the phone. I thought so. Jamie has a good brain, all right, but it's in Vicky's head. <laughs> Hi. Boy, I was really hot in practice today. 
Would you believe three more touchdowns? Would you believe Miss Sheets was just here? Miss Sheets. I've heard that name from somewhere. <laughs> well, I'll give you a hint. She almost flunked you in history last term. Oh, that Miss Sheets. Well, she's got a real problem, you know. What's that? Well, there's this kid who sits in front of me. He's real dumb. She keeps getting us mixed up. Well, gee, I hope she didn't get you mixed up this time. She was really pleased with that history report you turned in. Yeah, I was real pleased with it myself. <laughs> well, because of it, she wants to put you in the new honor club. How do you feel about that? It couldn't happen to a more deserving kid. <laughs> If I've told Jamie once, I've told him a dozen times not to use Vicky for his homework. Yeah, it'd be terrible if he were to be put in the honor club for something he didn't even do. Well, we're not going to let him get away with it. What are you going to do? I'm going to confront him face to face. And if that doesn't work, I'll confront his other end. <laughs> Ted, wait. Wouldn't it be better if he confessed all by himself? A out of his own sense of honesty and self-respect. Well, let's at least give him the chance to, huh? Maybe you're right. Well, it's probably just eating away at him right now. I bet you he tells us at dinner. Right. At dinner. Yeah. I'm proud of him already. <laughs> so, it was fourth down and two to go. I called for a runoff right tackle, but Reggie didn't want to carry the ball to that side. He said the last time he did, someone bit him on the leg. <laughs> Jamie, you've talked about nothing but football all through dinner. Don't you have something else to say? Something more important, maybe? Well, it won't be long till basketball season. <laughs> Boy, that Abraham Lincoln sure was honest. <laughs> what? Right. And what about George Washington? He was probably even more honest. Right. I think he was just about Jamie's age when he chopped down that cherry tree and, on his own, said, I cannot tell a lie. I did it. Does that mean anything to you, Jamie? Oh, it sure does. You shouldn't let a little kid play with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Well, when I'm worried, I like to pace. Pace for me. <laughs> you see, I didn't let on to my folks, but I'm feeling real guilty about that history report. Guilty? That word is not in my memory bank. Well, guilty is what you feel when you do something you know is wrong and you don't admit it. Stop, Vicky. Do something wrong and don't admit it. Right. You put up a good front because you're trying to protect your rear. <laughs> you understand? I'm working on it. <laughs> I shouldn't have let you do that report. You did it too good. Too good? Yeah, and that's bad. Good is bad. <laughs> right. I'll go back to the cabinet and work on that too. <laughs> You know, I'm not all bad. Sure, I cheated on that history report and took credit for something I didn't do and lied to my teacher and folks about it. But outside of that, I'm terrific. <laughs> You're terrific. I want to tell my folks the truth, but if I do, Dad won't take me to that football game on Sunday. Can you stick that in your computer and figure a way out? I will stick it in my computer. <laughs> the answer's forthcoming. Good. <laughs> Go to the football game first, then tell the truth. All right. Vicky, you're a lifesaver. Lifesaver, a round object with a hole in the middle. 
Not to be confused with the donut or bagel. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Lawson. Uh, Ms. Sheets, please come in. Thank you. Hello, Ms. Hi. Sheets. Hi. I have a copy of Jamie's report for you. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to bring that over tonight. Oh, it was no trouble. I was on my way to a meeting. Is Jamie here? I'd love to see him. Yes, of course. Uh, Jamie, would you come here, please? Coming, Mom! Ms. Sheets is here. Uh-oh. It's terrible having a guilty conscience. I was much happier when everybody thought I was stupid. <laughs> now, remember, Vicky, we've got to stick together. We've got to stick together. Right. Yeah, Mom? Miss Sheets wants to talk to you. Hello, Miss Sheets. Hello, Jamie. I'm sure your parents told you about my visit this afternoon. Yes, ma'am. They're both very proud of you, and so am I. Thank you. Wait! Vicky, what are you doing here? Jamie said we should stick together. Uh, Miss Sheets, uh, this is Jamie's cousin, Vicky. Uh, she's staying with us for a while. Nice to meet you, Vicky. Nice to meet you. Isn't it wonderful about Jamie being up for the new honor club at school? He's putting up a good friend to protect his rear. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, Miss Sheets, you see, Jamie... Dad let me say something. Miss Sheets, you know how George Washington and Abraham Lincoln told the truth and became presidents? Yes. Well, in a minute, I'm going to have a good chance to become president. <laughs> Miss Sheets, I cannot tell a lie. I didn't do some of that history report I turned in. Oh, what part didn't you do? All of it. <laughs> Outside of that, he's terrific. He is terrific. That took a lot of courage, Jamie. Well, Jamie, if you didn't do that report, who did? I cannot tell a lie. I did. Honey, did you hear that? Vicky did it. I couldn't be more surprised. Well, if Vicky really did do that report, then I'm sure she must remember some of the things she read, like why the new calendar was adopted in 1752. The old calendar was the Julian calendar, which overestimated the solar year by adding 11 minutes, 14 seconds annually, so it had to be changed. <laughs> Where does she go to school? I don't go to school. No, why not? Teachers take all the fun out of it. They expect you to learn things. <laughs> you got a big mouth, Vicky. Jamie, Miss Sheets, what she means is she doesn't go to a public school. She goes to a private school. Oh, uh, may I ask which one? Of course. <laughs> well, which one? Which one? It, uh... It's a very small school. There's only one student. She has a private tutor. Oh, oh, I see. Well, um, I'd better be going. Jamie, I was quite disappointed, but it was very brave of you to admit what you did. If you work real hard at school, maybe you really can get in the honor club someday. I'll try very hard, Miss Sheets. I really will. Good. Well, good night, everyone. Good night. I wish we had a bright little girl like Vicky at our school. School is yeah. <laughs> She's talking about reform school. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm really sorry about all this. But I did tell the truth. Are you going to punish me? I'm afraid so, Jamie. What kind of punishment? Well, I'm still going to take you to the football game on Sunday, but I'm getting bad seats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you hear that, Vicky? The big J's got it made. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're the greatest. There's one condition, Jamie. Uh-oh. Did I hug you too soon? 
<laughs> you have to promise, really promise, not to use Vicky for your homework anymore. No problem, I promise. If I'm lying, may I go to my grave without another Twinkie? <laughs> She's a small 